It is possible to make a healthier tres leches cake at home, without sweet condensed milk, with oats and filled with classic flavors. Seriously, it's one of the moistest cakes I've ever made. Fluffy in texture, indulgent and light in every bite. Tres leches or three milks cake is a basic spongy cake soaked in three different milks. That's it, pretty straightforward. It has lots of calories because of the sugar and sweet condensed milk, but today I'm going to make a lighter tres leches cake, which is rich and delicious while lower in calories than traditional. First, let's make the cake. The cake itself is quite simple and it uses a combination of homemade oat flour and tapioca or cornstarch. And the idea is to make a cake that is soft enough to soak up all this milk. In a bowl add the oat flour, cornstarch for texture because we're using gluten-free flour, also some baking powder and pinch of salt. Oats are great for baking and work fine in this recipe. Now you'll need 5 eggs, and that's what makes this cake spongy and light. I'm going to separate eggs into two different bowls, this will make a fluffier cake and better overall texture. Start beating the egg whites first, with addition of a little bit of sweetener and lemon juice. Do this on high speed for 2 to 3 minutes, it's done when soft peaks start to form. It will add a lot of air into the cake batter. Next to the egg yolks add your liquid sweetener instead of sugar and touch of vanilla for nice kick. Beat the egg yolks on high speed until lightening in color and foamy, then add the milk, any milk of your choice and mix on low to combine. Now you'll need to sift the dry ingredients into the egg yolk mixture, it will make the whole thing lighter and gently mix just until combined. It's time to fold the fluffy egg whites into the batter and do that carefully using a spatula because you want to keep as much air in the batter as possible. You can line with parchment paper but I prefer to grease the baking dish with some butter. Don't have to flip the cake this way. Pour the batter all over the pan and smooth the top as much as you can. Bake for 30 minutes, but it will depend on your oven. If the toothpick comes out clean, it's done. Anyway, with this cake it's better to overcook it than undercook it. I go with lower temperature than usual because oats tend to brown quicker than all-purpose flour. The cake itself is not overly sweet, which is good because it will be soaked in tres leches mixture. Traditionally, the three milks cake use condensed milk, evaporated milk and whole milk, but I'm going to do this my way, mixing together coconut milk, almond milk and heavy whipping cream. Almond milk is here to balance the whole mixture, coconut milk will give the richness and flavor and heavy cream well, just to make it more creamy. But you can use any other milks as well, just make sure it's not too watery at the end. To replace the sugar that comes with condensed milk, I'm going to add maple syrup, which also adds to the overall taste of the cake. Once the cake is completely cool, you take your fork and poke holes all over the cake and to the bottom. I use fork rather than wooden stick, because there will be more holes to soak up the milk. Now pour the sweet milk mixture over the cake and do that slowly. It will soak it all, but if you see the milk swimming on the top, wait for a minute, then pour the rest of it. The cake will absorb all the liquid and become really moist. You can eat the cake after 3 hours, but it's best the day after. So cover the cake and put in the fridge to soak overnight and let the flavors melt together. After chilling this cake will be creamy and silky, without having a lot of milk floating at the bottom. Frost with lightly sweetened whipped cream on top and you're ready to dig in. For an extra touch you can garnish the cake with sliced strawberries or dust with some cinnamon or cocoa powder. This healthier tres leches is sweet but not crazy high in calories. It's light but at the same time rich and decadent. I recommend you give it a go with this recipe because it's not tricky to make and it's always a crowd pleaser. So, if you want a quick and healthy dessert for a gathering or dinner party, make this snow baked chocolate cheesecake. It's made with homemade Nutella, it's really creamy and great for cheesecake beginners. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.